Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about eyebrows. This is actually a subscriber requested video from a couple months ago that has just taken me a little bit longer than I would have liked to have filmed for you guys. So apologies to that subscriber that did request this a while ago, but we're finally getting down to it today. She wanted to know how I get my eyebrows to look so good. So I'm gonna sit down with you guys today and share with you my tips and tricks. If you're curious as to what I do and perhaps take away some certain points and styles and ideas and even products as to what I use to make them look so good, keep on watching. All right, let's just get right into it. I cannot begin talking about my eyebrows without divulging to you guys one little huge secret. Curious to know what that is? Coming a little closer. A little closer. All right, I'll meet you halfway. My eyebrows are microbladed. It's true, guys. I'd like to sit back here and tell you I was just born this way. I'm just so lucky. Don't you wish you had eyebrows like mine? Well, you can, because they're microbladed. If you don't know what that is, it is a semi-permanent procedure where little hairs are drawn along your eyebrows to give you fuller and nice looking eyebrows, like you see right here. Now, what I'm gonna do real quick is insert a picture of what my eyebrows looked like before any kind of microblading procedure. Pretty drastic difference from then and now, right? Now I'll have to admit to you guys that, you know, back then I would look at my eyebrows and think, you know, they weren't too bad, you know, and, and really they weren't, you know, over here I had, you know, a decent amount of hair and it was, you know, all good and dandy, but it was the tail end for me that just was really lacking. I mean, as you saw in that picture, it's just, it was like, ah, and then boom, it like fell off. You know, I don't know what happened. I just never really had hair. It's not like I ever over plucked them. It's just, it was just a part of my eyebrow that just always seemed to be lacking some and it needed help. Thankfully, microblading took off. You know, it was something that really intrigued me and I looked into it. I had actually a friend from high school that took this up as her work. And as if that wasn't enough, you know, having someone that you know and is a friend to do it, she does fantastic work. If you're in the Chicagoland area, I highly, highly, highly recommend her. Her name is Jody. Her business name is Sabi Skin Studio. I will actually insert her Instagram handle right here so that you can see all her work. She posts all the time and her work is absolutely phenomenal. And if you actually search her business name here on Facebook, you will see her work there as well. And like I said, if you're in the Chicagoland area, you should look her up, you should book with her. She books up pretty quickly. So, you know, this is something you will have to kind of plan for. So don't delay. If you're looking to do your eyebrows, go to her, you will not be disappointed. So getting back to the story with the microblading, they always say a girl has like one thing she always has to do before she leaves the house. For some people it's foundation, for some people it's mascara. For me, it evolved into eyebrows. Like I just could not leave the house with my eyebrows undone. Like I, I just couldn't, I felt like I looked like hell. I felt like I looked like I'd just woken up. A lot of times that was the case, but you know, I just did not feel, I, did, I felt like my face was lacking if I did not have my eyebrows filled in and the eyebrows do frame the face. So it kind of made sense as to why I felt that way. So because they were my thing, you know, there were some days where it would take me, you know, five minutes, which was great. You know, that was quick. You know, that was a good day. Some days it would take me, oh, I hate to even say it. It would take me almost like a half hour. And you know, they always say, oh, they're sisters, not twins. Well, I wanted identical twins. So I would have some days where just the stars did not align and it was just super difficult for me to get them to look good. There were times where I just kind of resigned myself to thinking like, oh, they suck, whatever. And this was like a half hour later. So for me, when microblading started to take off, it really, really intrigued me because for me, time is money. And if I could do something that was semi-permanent that would give me, not sister, but twin eyebrows or close to it, I call them twins, I was all for it because like I said, time is money. So I would love to save that time. So I ended up doing it. I started in mid 2017. I got them microbladed for the first time. And actually what I'm going to do right now is insert a picture. And this picture will show you how my eyebrows looked with makeup before without anything when the makeup was wiped off. So kind of similar to the first picture I showed you. And then after microblading. Pretty amazing results, right? I was beyond pleased with it and love, love, loved the outcome. Now, unfortunately for me, it didn't last as long as 
It should have for even the minimum side. And the reason for that was I was a bit of a bleeder. Well, actually I was a lot of a bleeder. Like my, my friend told me that, you know, some people do bleed, but like you are bleeding way too much. And, you know, time passed and we realized that the reason I probably bled so much was because I was taking omega supplements and that makes you more of a bleeder. So when I stopped those pills and then went back to her, the bleeding had subsided and it wasn't as bad. I was still, I guess, a bit of a bleeder. Some people don't bleed at all. I still bled, but it wasn't nearly as crazy town as it was the first time. But the reason I'm mentioning that is why was that a problem? Well, if I'm bleeding, what is that doing? It's pushing the pigment out that my friend was trying to put in. So I think that that was a huge reason as to why my microblading did not last as long. I mean, it was still there. It just looked faded quicker. So I went back to her, I'm check my notes real quick. I wrote down everything. Thing. So I did this back in June 2017. I had to go back to her in February 2018 to get them redone. And at that point, she did microblading and powder brow. So like I said, the microblading were like drawing lines. Powder brow, I would say is like spray paint. So that gave it a more filled in look, which is kind of right up my alley. And I loved it even more. And that actually lasted a lot longer because the next time I went to her was April 2019. So we went from, let's see here, six to seven months to almost 14 months. And when I went to her in April of this year, all she did was powder brow. She just filled them in for me. And this now we are close to mid November right now. So this is about doing math on camera. Math is hard. <laughs> seven months. Yes, we're about seven months in. And I feel like this side is starting to look like it needs a little bit of help, but I mean, overall, I think they're okay. Um, so they've lasted a lot longer than it did from the first to second visit. The time that it's taking me, you know, between visits is getting longer. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind when it comes to microblading though, because I don't want you guys to have like unrealistic expectations. You can't do microblading and think that your eyebrows are set. You know, no matter what makeup you put on, you're good to go not always the case now from day to day you know makeup and you know or not makeup as you know i don't wear makeup all the time i'm okay with you know them being bare i guess you could say as is like this but if i go full glam i still have to fill them in so this isn't a solution you're not gonna be able to toss out the stuff you used to use to fill your eyebrows in you will still need them and i personally think you'll definitely need them when you go glam so that you know the intensity of your eyebrows matches the intensity of the rest of your makeup just realize that this is not a you know 100 percent end all be all you're you're done with any kind of eyebrow makeup that is not the case and like i said it is not permanent it is semi-permanent so this is something you would have to redo if you wanted to keep them you know looking spick and span and fresh it's it's something you'd have to do once every i think she told me it's once every six months even up to two years it just it's on an individual case by case person basis depending on whether or not you have dry skin oily skin if you are good about you know when when it comes to washing your face when it comes to doing chemical peels and things like that telling people hey my eyebrows are microbladed avoid them because if you do a peel for example that's going to affect your eyebrows so you need to kind of work around them and just be mindful of them and you know if you do get any treatments done, give them that heads up, let them know, hey, they're microbladed, please be careful. Uh, and then when you're doing your own thing, if whether it's washing your face with something that perhaps could make them, you know, fade quicker, avoid your eyebrows. That is the first main takeaway, I guess, for this particular video. The eyebrows are not entirely mine. I did get help from my dear friend and I will be forever grateful to her and I will be going to her for the foreseeable future because I mean, look at them, they're amazing. I love them. I can't even imagine having my eyebrows look the way they did before. I think they look really, really fantastic. And I'm just, I'm just very happy. So now that you know my little big, huge secret, we'll get into the products that I use. The first thing I do is use my Mac Brow Set in Clear. It's a little bit cloudy now, but it's kind of the nature of the beast. It happens over time but this is what I use first. And I know there's a lot of conflicting information, maybe not conflicting information, but varying preferences. I think a lot of people actually use this once they've finished putting all the eyebrow products on. I use this before. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I personally, that's kind of how I've been doing it and I like it. It almost, 
acts like a primer for me. I just, you know, apply a little bit like this. It kind of, you know, spaces out the hairs, kind of sets them into place. You know, you put it on either side like so, and it almost acts like, like eyebrow hairspray. You know, it sets them in. I feel like, you know, when I'm filling in my eyebrows, then they're not like kind of flailing all about. It just feels like they're kind of in place where they should be. And then I'm able to draw in the eyebrows or fill them in it. And in this case, um, a little bit easier. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but for me, it's just kind of what works. When it comes to actually filling them in with color, for me, it's always been Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the one product that I used before I actually got my eyebrows microbladed and I have not used it since then is their Dip Brow Pomade that you see right here. It says Anastasia Beverly Hills right there. Got her logo at the top. And the color that I was using is dark brown. This was the product that I used all the time when it came to filling in my eyebrows. I swore by it. It, you know, was easy to apply like a liquid, but then it dried powder like. It was just my go-to. Like I said, since I got them microbladed, I don't use this anymore. I actually use her pencils. The two pencils I have are also dark brown color, and I have the Brow Wiz right here. And what is this one called? The Brow Definer. And I'll show you what they look like. So now when I go, because most of the time I don't fill them in because like I said, I'm not wearing full makeup, if any and they look just fine as is in my opinion i guess it's subjective someone might tell me girl you need to fill those in what the hell are you doing leaving the house like that but i'm okay with it so you know sorry if you would feel otherwise but definitely when i go glam these two are 100 percent in play the brow is as you can see here is a very fine tip and typically what i will do i'm not going to do it on camera because i actually don't think I can do it, you know. Well, maybe I can actually, let's see. So I would just draw in the line, like so. It's almost just outlining the line that's already been put in there, thanks to my lovely friend and microblading guru. I just draw it in like so. I would not use this all the way in because, you know, you don't want to fill it in entirely because then it's going to look so fake. You want to show you know, varying degrees of color, maybe even leave some looking like you're seeing your skin because that's natural. No one's eyebrow, I mean, unless you're just super, super thick eyebrows, no one's gonna just have it be one color. It's gonna make it look more fake. So typically what I do is just line the, you know, the outside with the little thin brow is, and then I pull out the brow definer and the tip on this one is like that. And I will use that to kind of just color it in. And I do, you know, I just kind of go any which way. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. I just kind of fill it in until I think it looks natural and good. Like I said, I don't try to fill it in completely because if it's totally colored in, it's it's just gonna look it's gonna look like you sharpied it in and no one wants that. So just do a little bit like so. And then you know, you just feel like it's a little more filled in. And, you know, if you want to compare it to this side, that's it. Easy as pie. That's all I do when, these days when I have to fill in my eyebrows, just a little swoop of that uh, brow set from Mac. And then I use these two pencils and then I'm good to go. And actually sometimes I will use this one, the thin one, the brow whiz. And if I feel like it looks like gappy down here, I'll like, just kind of mimic and you know color in some hairs you know like wispy you do not want to go crazy here coloring it in because it's just not natural it looks awful do not do it don't go too crazy if you feel like there are some gaps here and there by all means go and you know wisp in some hairs and fill it in like that but don't do not color it in. it's not gonna look good but you just do that and sometimes like, I think this is the eyebrow that I feel like looks like it's lacking here. So like right here, for example, I'll just put in like a couple hairs like that, just to wisp it up a bit, you know, and give it a little more full. Like that, see? And I just kind of, you know, pick and choose. Sometimes I'll even, if I feel like it looks super gappy, like right here, I'll take the brow definer 
and just color it in like that. And again, it's there's no <laughs> rhyme or reason when it comes to using the definer. I just kind of fill it in to the point where I feel like it looks like, you know, the brow got a little more help and see, just like that. Like it looks a little more filled in. It's not, it doesn't look completely dark. It just looks like a natural fill in for color. And that's pretty much all I do now when it comes to my eyebrows. I'll link all the Anastasia and MAC products that I just mentioned and showed you down below in the description box in case you are interested in purchasing them for yourself. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below that you see in red and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back and joining me in all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.